So here's, here's your tip for folks that want to know. This is no break. This is break. Subtle break. This is not good. That's me in middle school, yeah. Well, it's also me like <laughs> two hours ago. Let's just be honest, so. I'm Jeremy Kirkland. You are watching Shop Talk. Today I'm here with a very, very special guest, Chef Jeremiah Stone. He's behind Wild Air, he's behind Contra, Michelin Star Award winning, Food and Wine Best New... I mean, the, the line is... It's, it's a very, you're a hard person to introduce. You have, you have a lot of accomplishments here. And so it is a true pleasure to have Thank you on you so with much. us. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. That means a lot. A few different magazine outlets have called your cuisine New York cuisine. Right now we're wearing J. Crew, 40 years of J. Crew. We're talking New York style, New York cuisine. We got synergy today here. Absolutely. So yeah. let's, let's talk a bit about this. I love this top coat. Is this, uh, are, you, are you now a top coat guy? I like to layer. And I yeah. like wearing a, I definitely like wearing a big, long coat. Big, long coats are yeah. the thing right now. Because I feel like when I was, you know, maybe in like my 20s, my legs didn't get cold. And then, <laughs> yeah. and then now I like a long coat. Yeah. You can wear it with a suit. You can wear it with what you're wearing now, which is just a nice cable knit cashmere sweater and some chinos. Yeah. You're a chef. You know, you're not like, what's my fit today sort of guy, right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I think there's, you know, there's different levels to what um, what my day looks like. Right. We're, right. we're chefs, but we're also restaurant owners and business owners, and there's meetings, and there's sometimes we're cooking, yeah. and sometimes we have to run out to another, you know, place, so I have to go outside, and I have to, you know, sort of change gears and put on something a little bit more, but I, I like to be comfortable the whole time. Let's talk about the Secret Wash shirt. So this is a personal favorite of mine. I currently am wearing a Secret Wash shirt. But these are great because you can just put them on with a tee, just a regular shirt. You can wear it underneath a sweater. You can wear it with a suit. But one of the things that's changed a lot over time, so now this is the classic fit. I think now, you know, we're really embracing just this kind of understated elegance. And, but here's the thing. Did you, have you ever monogrammed your shirts? You a monogram guy? No, I haven't, but I, I could. We're getting you a monogram. Yeah. That yeah. way no one can take them from me. That's right. Yeah. It's yours. You got your name on it. Is there anything here that you see yourself looking towards either? I mean, I saw you grabbing this Navy guy over here. Yeah, I mean, I like to just put on something that can still look good in the kitchen. And that's the thing we've, you know, a lot of times I'm, it's an open kitchen and the guests can see me. Yeah, you so, got to get fits off in the kitchen. Yeah. You can't just be in a t-shirt, so. For me, though, I, I always kind of see myself moving a little bit towards some of the sport coats here. But one of the things I like a lot, so this is J. Crew's Ludlow cut here. But this is my secret tip. You get one of these, you break it up. Have you ever, you ever done that? Where you, you buy a suit and you only wear half of it? I, I, I'm learning right now. <laughs> oh, yeah, taking this, notes, yeah. That's what we gotta do. do you, have you ever, you ever gone sweaters? I mean, because I see you wearing the nice cable knit, but have you ever just done the solid crew neck cashmere sweater? For sure. I mean, I love a, a sweater, but not in the kitchen. These are great because also, fun fact, Stevels has a scarf. I'm gonna be the guy where you take off your knit. You ever, you ever done a, a knit and you just wear it around your shoulder, around your neck? No, I've only seen it in the movies, so. <laughs> this, this is the movies. We're making it happen right now. <laughs> All right, well, I say we pick out some stuff. Let's get dressed. All right, let's do it. All right, we're back. But the first thing I'm gonna call out, I don't know if you wanna even move the camera down, guys. We're low for twins. We got we got two of the same we got two of the same loafers on because they're good loafers. What, what do, you, do you got white socks on on your loafers? I got gray socks. You got gray socks. Yeah. I'm doing white socks. Call me out in the comments. I'm wearing my white socks, fam. This is what we're doing. Have you ever done the penny loafers before? I have to say I have many times. Oh. Yeah. Because I like a you know I like to slide into a shoe. I'm not a good laces person. Yeah. I'm not a loafer, but I'm a loafer person. Yeah. I got I got the loafers here too. I'm I'm a big fan of uh, just just throwing on my shoes. Do you, uh, you take your shoes off in the house? I love asking people this question. Yeah, I'm Asian, we have to. Oh, okay. Yeah. But let's talk about the real fun here. So I saw you grab the chamois. You, you, you're doing the overshirt thing. I'm doing the sport coat thing. Let, let's, let's talk about your look here. I think this is very my look, which is sort of, you know, a little- This is classic Chef like, Jeremiah Stone. Yeah, I like to look a little work wear-ish, you know? And yeah. Like I'm about to go do something. <laughs> Are you? Sometimes I'm not, sometimes <laughs> We gotta tell the truth, it's fine. No, there's a lot of manual labor in my job, so I like to look like I'm, you know, I'm ready to work. Sharp in the nose. Yeah, and uh, this is kind of very much my my style. How are you feeling about this denim right now? Great, this is I- a classic straight denim. You're, it's, you like, do you like the, do you like the space? I do, because I am a child of the, you know, 
I grew up with really big baggy jeans. This is like the color, the wash, the look. Yeah. And I like that it's back and it's established because I always looked at my big, my big brother and like how he dressed. You got tribute. it. It's a tribute to him, yeah. Yeah, there yeah. you go. Isn't it crazy how much emotions and dressing? I mean, I'm dead serious. It is, it is fascinating to me every time I talk to people and, and they start calling out family members and dad, grandpa, you know, sister. I mean, there's, there's a lot in this stuff. It's, you know, which is why I love clothes in general because it, there is more than, you know, yeah, it's a bigger cut. Yeah. yeah. There, there's just yeah. always something there. You also have underneath, can we, can we see what's a little bit more underneath there? You got a, yeah, you got I a layered. Nice little brush twill, a little flannel action there. I think this really goes well with the, the wash of the, the denim and that's a nice match. Yeah. Yeah, and then it's layers. So this looks good without it and then I, you know, a nice, half shirt, half jacket feel is, is where I live. Well, the, the big thing here that I want to call out that, you know, when people are like trying to understand like what's behind the thing is you're dressed up and dressed down at the same time. Because like maybe if you were doing sneakers with this, which you could, it's, there's stuff there, but you, you have, a, you're, you know, you're dressed up with the shoes. Like for me, I'm trying to kind of fight both fights here where there's no collared shirt underneath for this, but I got a nice soft cashmere and then I got a sport coat, so it's like, am I casual? Am I business? Am I business casual? I don't know. I love the chamois that you have on. And I, I mean, earlier, like, I was looking at this red one. And I mean, I said this earlier where someone's got to wear this, because this is like, you can wear it with that. You can wear it with these chinos and the dress shoes. I mean, you can, you can still pull it off. I mean, it, it's, it's fantastic. So you're wearing the suit top. When, when you have really great fabrics like this, like this is just this beautiful worsted fabric where it also does double as a sport coat, right? So, I mean, when people are like, look, I can really only afford one suit. That's why I'm like, don't buy a black suit. Like wear, get a navy suit and you can wear your navy trousers. I could wear the navy trousers with just this, with a white t-shirt or like for me, you know, I kind of want to just like dress up what I'm dressing down and so, Classic navy sport coat all day. I could easily wear just a white tee with this sport coat, move on. One of the great American actors, Richard Gere, or Richard Gere, you know, he was, he was doing the killer classic 80s Armani, white tee, sport coat, wear it on the plane, travel with it, fold it up nice, hang it in the shower, whatever you need to do. It's like you can have a hot dog without a hot dog bun. You can just eat it with rice or something. Oh my yeah. God. <laughs> yeah, now we're talking. So if this was, that's the a dish. This, what is it? Yeah, it's the hot dog. And then the pants would be the bun. They don't have to be together. Oh my God. <laughs> my whole world exploded <laughs> from my head right now. Wait, so then what's that? This? I don't know. It's hamburger? Hamburger? Yeah. Jeans? Fries. One other thing I'll call out I did a little cheat code here. I'm wearing the same pants as I was wearing last time. Just change the collar. Have you ever done a thing where it's like, this, is, this works great. Let me buy it in every color? Yeah. Yeah, I'll wear it in the, the khaki, the stone, maybe the wash navy, and it just kind of, it goes with everything. And some people look, you know, some guys, they're doing the thing where they're rolling up, you know, they're rolling up their trouser cuffs. I don't know if you've ever rolled up your trouser cuffs to kind of have this sort of, I just shucked a bunch of oysters. Yeah, I mean, I, I do shuck a bunch of oysters, but- uh, Did you roll your cuffs? Usually not. Thanks so much for watching, folks. Last thing, because I got them on camera. Can you get me into your restaurant? I think I know someone. Let's go.